Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to my channel, Soul Journey. My name is Beck Ahimza. Um, welcome back, or welcome to anyone who is new to the channel. <sighs> I am... It's amazing what happens when you put intention out, man. I have been having some resistance to posting videos for a lot of different reasons, mostly because I just don't feel like I'm in the right headspace. But um, yesterday, um, me and my partner, Wesley, um, just decided, like, this is what we want to do. This is what we want to be doing full time. And so we decided, okay, what do we want to do every single day? What do we want to post every day? What, what kind of content do we want to be creating? What energy do we want to be in every day? Um, we've been pulling cards in the morning. Um, we've been trying to work on meditating, really just focusing on the life we desire instead of, you know, having this idea of like, well, it's out there. It's like, no, let's, let's make it happen now. And so one of the things I've been struggling with is coming up with content. Like I have ideas, but I don't necessarily feel inspired by them or just, just feeling like I don't have content. And this morning during my meditation, a video just started coming to me and I was like, oh my gosh, like it really is that intention of being, you know, you just say, this is what I want and source, spirit, you know, God, whatever you want to call it, will bring it to you if you're open for that inspiration. So in my morning meditation, I was, you know, just opening up, you know, letting the thoughts just like run through or whatever. And... The idea of need came into mind. I think need is an interesting concept because, well, basically the idea that came through was need is interesting because we have this idea of needs. It's like, I need to have food. I need to have money. I need to do this. The idea of getting your needs met. And I was thinking about like the vibrational feeling of the idea of need in my body and I could feel that it was actually fairly low vibration even though we really do have this idea of like um needs are okay and they are they are on a 3d level it's okay to accept the fact that um you know we have things we need to do <laughs> but it's funny because now that I've had this like awareness of it like that doesn't even feel right to me so I wanted to kind of like lean into what spirit was showing me about the idea of need and of course we all have different perspectives we all have different um journeys we're on so this may or may not resonate with you but it really came in for me in a strong way and it's this idea that the idea of need is inherently a lack mentality because if you need something do you have it no right and so if you're saying like I need food you're on some level imp implying that it's either not going to be there or you don't have it if you just say food comes to me like I am always nourished you know it's like my need of food is met you know like my need it's like it's like it's like a it's like a pulling energy where or you know like a grasping energy where it's like food is always available to me um money is always available to me. Um, my house is always warm, whatever that is. You could say I need housing or you could say it's just always there. And if you actually think about how those two different like sentences feel in the body, there is a difference in vibration. And so Spirit was, you know, trying to explain to me like, as long as you're feeling like there's a need it, it, it brings you into this vibration of kind of like always not quite having or you might get what you need, but that's it, right? Instead of saying just like, I have, I have. And, and they were also showing me this idea of like how everything is moving because, you know, we have this very stagnant, well, you know, in the 3D, it's very like, this is real, right? But we know once we leave the perception of the 3D, everything is just moving 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 like you we are always tuning in to the reality that we are a vibrational match to and so everything is always coming like the manifestation of this camper around me is constantly coming into my reality because i am moving into all the realities where this is it seems like it's 
3D and solid around me, but it is a constant, you know, everything is vibration, everything is energy. So it's always really moving. And everything that we could ever want, need, um, desire, um, really anything we're going to experience is always coming at us. Always. There's always a reality coming at us, right? And we are always tuning in, tuning in, tuning in. So the idea is if there's always a reality coming towards us, there's always something moving towards us. Why not tune into the reality where what's moving toward us is everything being sorted, right? Because we know that what we focus on, focus on, we attract, you know, it's an attraction based universe. So whatever we're focusing on, we pull in, we pull in, we pull in, we pull in. And it's, it's, this is our natural state. We are natural tuners. <laughs> the question is, are we tuning to what we want? Right? So if we recognize that everything, whether we want it, we don't want it, whatever is always coming toward us. Like that's how we're experiencing it. It's always coming in for our perception, 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 perception. It's always revealing to us in every single moment. Why not choose through focus, through awareness, through awareness of what it feels like in our body, we can choose what we're tuning into because there's infinite realities coming at us. And we just like the radio dial, right? It's like all the radio channels are coming into the radio at once, but we tune into the one we desire. And that's exactly how we function. You know, there's crystals in the radio, um, and we have, uh, we're crystalline based beings, or that's what we're shifting into. Um, we are all energy. And so we are the radio, we are the tuner and all of the realities are around us available to us. And by our focus, by our tuning, and we can do that by recognizing how we feel, um, we tune into what feels good. So does need feel good? Or does having feel good? Right? Like, can you just say like, I have, I have everything that I want to use, I don't want to use the word need. It's so in the, the, the psyche, right? I tune into the reality where I have all that I desire, have all I perceive I need for life. We need a new word guys. So this is something that, you know, spirit, you know, when we tap in, I feel like spirit is honing. And as we move into the 5d, it, spirit and source and really spirit and source is us. We're really tuning ourselves to be in higher frequency. Um, we will be using different words because words are power. That's why, you know, we call it spelling <laughs> because it really is spelling out what you are going to have. Okay. So the words we use do feel differently in the body. And, you know, a lot of words, uh, we use are fairly low frequency They're They often come into a vibration of lack and they pull us into that vibration of lack. So I often recognize that my, my higher being, my inner being source is often just almost like fine tuning, um, how we perceive creation. Even the idea of creation means that it needs to come out of nothing. Whereas it's more of tuning into what's already there. You know, it's those little things that really make the tuning process easier because our, our brain starts recognizing the truth of what is, which is that there is never lack. It's whether or not we're allowing it to reveal itself to us. And there really is never lack. <laughs> manifestation is everywhere. The question is, is the manifestation that's around us, is it something that feels good, that feels full? right? But it, it already is full. So we might as well accept the fact that our reality is already full of everything. <laughs> Let's tune in to the everything we desire. You know, as, as I was in meditation, it just, it dawned on me that like, reality is all around. There is never lack. There's, there's nothing missing here. Um, it's all energy. The question is what type of energy and frequency do I want to experience? Because everything is everywhere around. <laughs> oh. Isn't tasting amazing? Oh my gosh. And temperature and texture. Like it, like 
when you start realizing that even the simple things of like holding the mug is magnificent like this this is amazing the fact that this is energy and i can feel this and that this is translating into my being of warm and solid and you just come into this state of appreciation and of course appreciation is the highest frequency so like if you can just look around and go like wow like just feel feel breathe experience observe you come into the state of awe this is something me and a friend of mine were uh just talking about recently this idea of that the entire purpose of source coming into physical or really any interpretation is to explore itself and and wonder at itself and to say like wow that is me wow and just to like be in awe isn't that the most amazing feeling when you look up at the moon you're just like wow there is no real purpose to recognizing the beauty of the moon but 11 11 but it, it's the best feeling and so i've come to realize that the in, the purpose of incarnation whether it's three four five five c six dimension whatever is to just go wow that that is amazing and that feeling of having that feeling of awe is the high vibration and the reason it feels good is because it's in alignment high vibration just means in alignment and when we're in that state everything tingles and sparkles with magic and that's why when you're in that space things just happen for you and so when you're in that space that's the space you want to be in when you go yes the money is coming in the money is already here it is already zooming towards me i'm already zooming towards it whatever you want to say whatever makes sense to you all the things that are coming in for that amazing experience and when you're in the state of awe it's all an amazing experience that's why the journey ends up being so magical because it's not about the destination it's that you're appreciating the moment the moment the moment the moment and then you get to bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger moments and it just keeps revealing itself and revealing itself to you and when you're in that state that's when you tune the focus it's like when you're driving really fast down the road you, you look ahead and you say i want this i want this i want this i want this and you just move towards it and you're not worried about how the wheels are turning you're not worrying about how you know everything's working you just know that it is and you're you're driving you're the one at the steering wheel you're not the one moving the pistons right you are at the steering wheel because the power is already behind you and you're just going and going and going and you get to where you want to be because you have intention and you have focus and so it's really about honing the feeling within you being in that state of awe that state of having that state of oh it's just it's clarity it's it's understanding that it's all right there it's just there to be tuned into that's all you have to do that's all you have to do you just have to be tuning and tuning to focus on what you want not what you don't want because if you start focusing on what you don't want you start going backwards actually backwards you can't really go backwards but you get the idea you start veering off <laughs> um towards that thing because that's what you're focusing on if we really start grasping this concept of what you focus on and it's not this whole like well i don't want this so i'm gonna get no no no. genuinely what you focus on that's why that's why even this idea of being protected say like this idea of like i am protected it implies that there's something out there coming at you but if you just say i'm safe i'm safe i'm always safe i'm safe very different feeling we need to start using these terms that feel <sighs> peaceful within our bodies right peaceful and just like oh and this is what coming into the 5d is all gonna is gonna be about is about becoming hyper aware hyper conscious of the feeling that the thoughts you're having is giving you because that's where you're gonna know if you're in or out of alignment and it's potent energy and as soon as you get into that appreciation state focus I have it, 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 I have it. Because when you're in appreciation, you know it's right there. You know it's right there. It's just waiting to be revealed to you. Oh. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. And when I next feel 
I just will have whatever I, I just have whatever I, I, I want. <laughs> it's already there. It's already coming to me. It's, it's, it's to me. It's just, it's right there. It's right there. And I'm just moving towards it, moving towards it, moving towards it, everything. <sighs> anyway, that was what my meditation was this morning. <laughs> so I thought I would finish up for anyone who's gotten this far into the video. I'm going to pull a card from the Beyond Lemuria Oracle cards for anyone who's watching. So whenever you're seeing this video, whether it's a year from now, three years from now, today, this is the message that's coming through for the people who are a vibrational match to this video. Calling in Spirit to give us the right card. Earth Star Chakra. Initiation. By the way, this deck is amazing. If you want to check out uh, my video, I do have a um, I do have an unboxing of this deck. I love it. I highly recommend it for anyone who's diving into the Star Seed experience. Highly recommend. All right, this. Wow, it's card number one. Really is initiation. Let's let's do this thing. All right, here we go. Oneness, collective consciousness, anchoring transmissions from the higher realms, sacred earth knowledge, uh, integration of the divine working with grid lines. Magic. Okay. You are standing at a gateway into the unknown with trust in your heart, ancient remembering in your soul and inner illumination to light the way. You have access to the seat of creation, the spark of existence, and the codes that hold the blueprints of who and what you are. This place is clear and grounded despite moving through multidimensional realms and able to bridge worlds while functioning in physical reality. The higher you reach for the divine and the realms of spirit, the more important it is to anchor deeply into the earth. Restore. Explore clearing meditations, self-energy work, and put intention into the meaningful parts of your life. Find ways to balance your life. Be aware of the times of day that are more conductive to different states of consciousness, such as flow, meditation, and productivity. Themes, integration of spirit and the eternal self, how you balance spiritual and physical reality, healing position at the feet, 30 centimeters below the feet, put, uh, put, uh, but placing the card at the feet is fine. Okay, so if you want to place the card during meditation at the feet, color wash earth brown so if you want to um tune into that that is amazing so i think that is where i'm gonna wrap up this video um let me know if this resonated with you um i'm so excited to be back i have so much content for you coming for you guys um things are just are moving fast moving fast coming in thank you guys so much if you want to check out my other social media the links to that are in the description down below i have my instagram i do have a patreon if you want to support me more long term and i also have an etsy shop uh, where you can get personal readings with me so definitely go check that out and i also have a TikTok now so go check all of those out um super super excited to connect with you guys i am so excited to be back <sighs> Get grounded, guys. Get grounded so that you can shoot up. It's just amazing. You know, ground in so we can connect to the stars. It is exactly what it needs to be. Many blessings, you guys. Namaste. And don't forget, it is all about the soul journey. Bye.